It's an amazing feeling. I don't have to worry about like, well, where you been, where you going, and who you with. Dr. Dre was married to Nicole Young for almost 25 years, but everything came crashing down for them in 2021 when they went through a nasty divorce. And you won't believe the things that Nicole revealed about Dre. From stories of infidelity to accusations of verbal harm, she had a lot to say. The whole ugly situation has threatened to disrupt Dre's relationship with his own kids as they look to take their mother's side. Nicole first filed for divorce in 2020 and went on to claim that she'd been suffering from PTSD. This was apparently brought on by the horrible harm she experienced in her marriage to Dre. The court documents of the divorce proceeding have shed more light on the insane stories Nicole shared about the marriage. She told the court that Dre had held a firearm to her head on three separate occasions. She added that Dre had physically attacked her in 1999 and 2000, hitting her in the head and face. Before marrying Dre, Nicole had worked as an attorney, so she probably felt comfortable asking for everything she was entitled to in the divorce. In September 2020, it was reported that Nicole was seeking $2 million a month in spousal support. She also requested ownership of Dre's name plus the trademark for The Chronic. Honestly, after hearing her claims, it sounded like the least she deserved, but not everyone felt the same way. 50 Cent soon shared his take on his fellow rapper situation. After the reports came out, 50 couldn't help but comment on Nicole's request for the trademark. He took to his social media to accuse Nicole of being entitled before promoting his book launch in the same post. After cursing Nicole out, he went on to say that she was crazy and that he didn't understand how she could ask for that much money. In the comments under 50's post, many people voiced their opinions on what he said. And one of those commenters turned out to be Nicole and Dre's daughter, Truly Young. And she did not hold back when telling 50 what she thought of his words. After laughing, she called 50 said an ugly washed up early 2000s rapper. She also blasted him for filing for bankruptcy and said that he was just jealous of her family's wealth and lifestyle. She went on to say that 50 was just using the news as a marketing scheme, which honestly rang pretty true since he did take the chance to plug his book launch. Truly described the move as being as low life as 50 was himself. Her entire post really took 50 down hard. And shortly after Truly posted her tirade, 50 shared a photo of himself looking at his phone with a caption reading, Dr. Dre's daughter just told me to shut the F up. Although Nicole probably appreciated her daughter sticking up for her, Dre might not have been so happy to see it. During the divorce proceedings, he also worked hard to damage Nicole's image. After Nicole made her demands for the Chronic's trademark, reports came out accusing Nicole of embezzling money. Allegedly, she took money from a limited company that she set up with her former husband in 2015. According to the reports, she went on to pay herself over $300,000 from the company. A month after Nicole made her incredible spousal support request, the judge made a separate ruling in Dre's favor. It was decided that he did not have to pay $1.5 million in security fees for Nicole. However, things in court soon turned against him, and what happened over the next few months was crazy. In April 2021, three of Dre's alleged mistresses were ordered to testify in the divorce case. It was honestly shocking to see so many women come forward to confirm that they had affairs with Dre. Even though it was not their choice to testify, the three women had actually been fighting to stay out of the case. They even got a lawyer to file a motion to prevent the woman from being subpoenaed. The lawyer claimed that none of them had any information relevant to the enforceability of the couple's prenup. But Nicole won that argument by convincing the judge to rule that they should take the stand. Nicole's legal team wanted to establish whether Dre had showered the woman with money and gifts during the marriage. After the court brought them in, the women were fined $2,500 each for trying to resist the request. Dre was also fined for the same reason, which obviously made him look pretty guilty. This made some of his previous statements paint a pretty bad picture of him. Dre had previously denied reports about any romantic links with Keely, a former model. There had been rumors about an affair between the two for years. Back in 2013, wild stories started appearing about Dre and Keely. It was alleged that they had actually had a baby together. In 2019, their affair was brought up in a separate court case involving Keely. She was being sued by a former worker who claimed to have had their employment wrongfully terminated. According to court papers, Keely was said to have been in a relationship with the famous rapper Dr. Dre, with whom she had a child. It was then claimed that she had fired the employee for discussing her private life despite signing an NDA. The other women who had to testify were musicians who had written songs with Dre, including one that was included in his compilation album. This turn of events threw everything Dre had claimed to defend himself into a lot of doubt, and it made people start to think that Nicole's horrific stories about their marriage needed a closer look, which was exactly what Dre did not 
not want to happen. All along, he had denied Nicole's claims about him and kept suggesting that she had another motive for making them. He stated that her claims of harm were nothing more than a ploy to get herself out of their prenup. In court documents obtained by TMZ, Dre alleged that the first time he'd heard about the harm claims was only after Nicole had a realization. Dre said that she had not raised the allegations until after she had asked for the divorce. The reason she did it was allegedly because she had realized that their prenup prevented her from asking for more money from him and that she wanted to squeeze him for as much as half of his 800 million fortune. For her part, Nicole made claims in relation to the circumstances of her signing the prenup and just like her previous claims, it was pretty shocking to hear. She said that she had signed the prenup under duress and she basically hinted that she'd been forced to sign the agreement by Dre. The divorce settlement was finalized in December 2021 and in the end, it seemed like neither Dre nor Nicole was probably too happy with the outcome. The settlement didn't give Nicole half of Dre's wealth like she had hoped for, but while Dre was reported to be happy about keeping the bulk of his money, he still had to pay out a huge amount. NBC reported that Nicole would walk away from the marriage with $100 million. She would receive half of that upfront and another $50 million in 2022. She also got to keep all of her jewelry and take four of the former couple's cars with her. However, Nicole was ordered to leave the Malibu house that she lived in with Dre. What was probably the most important to the rapper was that he got to keep all of his master recordings and trademarks. But although the court case has now been over for nearly two years, Nicole's accusation about Dre's dark past still follow him around, and I'm not sure if they'll ever go away. But what do you guys think? Do you believe all of Nicole's stories about Dre, and do you think she deserved more in the divorce? Let me know in the comments below.